ready to go fishing. Tonight, we're out here trying for pickerel. Sam's going to try this Rapala, blue top, silver side, jointed. And I'm going to try the new uh, Storm Thunder Stick, silver side, gray top. Both are shallow lures. We'll be trolling very close to shore tonight. So we need something that uh, will uh, stay above six feet. So here you can see how close to shore we are. And shore's just over there. And I got my line out uh, a good ways from the back of the boat here. I want to give the, uh, the fish a little bit of time to calm down before uh, my lure reaches them. Fish on. First uh, pickerel of the season on the Storm Thunderstick. Uh, lure performed great. It's a 20 inch pickerel though, and that's in the slot size on Tomogamy, so we're gonna have to let him go. Uh, beautiful fish. Uh, oddly enough, he has a lot of markings on him. Looks like he may have uh, had some tangle with some parasites. Maybe had a, a rough uh, breeding season. Um, they have just come off the spawning beds. And let's see if we can get him to flip over a little bit. Has some markings along his gills. A couple along his back fin. But overall, a nice fish. And here he is uh, going back to the deep. See you later, fishy. Stay tuned for more fish tomography, but first we'd like to thank this episode's sponsors. Moon Lodge offering a central location at the hub of Lake Tomogamy for all your fishing destinations. Enjoy our comfortable lodgings and home-cooked meals, or if you're traveling on the lake, stop in at our snack bar for some tasty treats. And Bailey Mac Camp, offering cozy cottages on the shores of Brook Lake, complete with beach for family fun in the water. Enjoy fishing Rib Lake or take a trip to the Cliff Lake Conservation Reserve for a nature hike or fishing adventure. inch pickle in the slot size that we're letting go. It's a nice fish. So here we have our uh, catch for the night. A couple nice pickerel. One's a little over 24 inches and the other one's a 17 inch uh, pickerel. Very nice. And all were caught off the Storm Thunderstick. So this spring we're going to be trying to get the walleye as they're coming in to feed along the shoreline. And to do that, we're going to need some shallow lures. Something like this Thunderstick. Now, what makes a lure dive shallow? The first thing you want to look at is the dive plane on the front. It should be a smaller plane, as opposed to something like this lure, which has a massive plane that's going to cause the lure to track deep. Here's your line, and as that dive plane hits more water, it's going to drive the lure down. Whereas if you take something like this Rapala here, with a very narrow dive plane, it's going to go through the water pretty level and only gain a little bit of depth even with a lot of line out. 
Another example of a deep dive is this Hottentot here that also has a very large dive plane and will travel more like this through the water and cause the lure to go down up to 15 feet. Our lure of choice this spring, at least mine, will be to test out this Thunderstick Mad Flash series. The color that I have here is the Gizzard Shad and you can see it's grey on top, silver on the sides and has three treble hooks on it so that no matter which side the fish decides to attack, if it comes from the back, the middle, or the front, you're more likely to get your fish.